Let's see if I can actually get this on video very well. So this is two MP1C antennas. One's got this titanium whip and then this one, my preferred one, has a telescoping whip. My reason for that is that you can adjust this. Or you can actually take this whip off all, all the way and put it on here, make it work on lower bands, like two meters, 440, that kind of thing. Can't do that with that one, it's just whatever it is. So right now I've got these adjusted. I just kind of threw it up on here and um, brought my MFJ out here. This thing's such a piece of junk, it works when it wants to. The knob's all screwy. Anyway, we just set it somewhere near, let's see. So we go, where does it go? Three to one. So 2.5. Let's try to see how much bandwidth this thing has. Tor starts to creep up really high. So, Let's go ahead and try this on a different band. So I've got it adjusted for 20 meters on both of the coils. Let's see what it does. So go over here to this guy. And, uh, I think MFJ might be messing up again. Boy, that is really changing. Hold on. So I couldn't really get it to tune up on 20 meters, but I did get a pretty good match in the lower part of 40, which means I could fiddle with it or use the internal tuner in the radio um, to use it on 40. I don't know why it's not really working on 20, but it's working better on 40. I've moved it up a little bit higher. It is definitely too close to the ground and other objects, but we just kind of wanted to do this and see. Uh, what it might do you know because I've stuck these on a metal barrel not even this high up in the air with just one of them and got on 20 meters and, and tuned it up really easily so um, anyway it uh, it goes bad fast so it's very narrow so anyways um, I just wanted to make a quick video on this because I wanted to try out the dipole function. Um, but like I said, I've used this um, by itself, just one on a metal barrel, and it worked really good, um, better than this. So, I don't know.